Israeli armor started crossing the border just before midnight. The operation covered the whole of the 75-mile-long frontier from the Mediterranean to the foot of Mount Hermon. The armor went in in six spearheads with full support units, an operation involving an undisclosed but considerable number of men. At the same time, Israeli civilians close to the border in Upper Galilee were evacuated to their air raid shelters in case of a counterattack. That did not come. By dawn, the Israelis were well established. By mid-morning, the artillery had cleared a path for the advancing armor up to six miles inside Lebanon. The Israelis, we were told, were meeting fair resistance but were inflicting appreciable and substantial casualties. The operation was proceeding according to plan. The armor was being supported by infantry who were being moved up to the front in armored... By noon, 12 hours into the operation, the artillery had zeroed in on Palestinian positions and they were being constantly pounded. An operation that was being supported, we were told, from air and sea. There was ample evidence of the Palestinians' presence Though again it was not clear whether they'd fled or stayed to put up a fight. This was precisely the sort of camp, a few miles inside Lebanon, that Israel had set out to destroy. All the time the Israelis were stressing that they were doing all they could to avoid civilian casualties. The Israelis said they were taking prisoners. As darkness fell at the end of the first day, they were still advancing according to plan. It's not a walkover, but we have fought tougher battles, was how the Defence Minister described it. Minister Weizmann, Mr Begin spent some time talking with his soldiers. Late this afternoon, Mr Begin made a statement, and here is part of it. This operation is no retribution or retaliation for the bloody attack of Saturday on our citizens. Because, obviously, there cannot be any retaliation or retribution for the blood of innocent citizens, men, women, and children. Such a retribution is just impossible. It was an act of legitimate national self-defense. 